Every once in a while, you get a chance to just sit back and go, this is a miracle, this is amazing. There's just something about big things, big moments, big stories that bring out the dreamer in all of us. I'm the crazy artist who started this thing. Ellen Griesedick is crazy, crazy enough to bring her dream to life. This five-story mural in Winstead, Connecticut is said to be the largest indoor collaborative mural project in the world. Somebody's got to make something really big about who we are, so nobody can miss it. Ellen, a former sports photographer, has captured the likes of Muhammad Ali, an artist who designed the first label for this popular salad dressing, was drawn to paint people, the working class. I would come back from the West Side Highway and I'd say, Bob is an artist when he's welding. You, ha you cannot believe what it's like to be up there. So these are real people with real stories. Absolutely, because you can't paint anyone unless you know them. Mm. You're not convinced. This is Edwin Raymond. He's a police officer in New York. Melissa Bennett, she's a firefighter in Brooklyn. The vibrant images tell a story of 50 states, of people at work, from Boeing engineers to people who create moments where ideas take flight. A visual smorgasbord that Griesedick knows she could not achieve alone. I'm just going to try out Massachusetts, Connecticut, where I live, and New York, three states. I'm going to go to schools that I'd really like to see involved in this, and we're going to create a project, which is the Foundry Guy. That's over three tons of ceramic. 15,000 students from around the country have had a hand in imagining and crafting part of this project. At 120 feet wide and five stories high, it's both an artistic and an engineering marvel. 116 pieces of three-quarter inch marble in this Liberty Triangle alone. A puzzling position for the mason and steel fabricators charged with making the pieces fit. John looks over at me and he goes, look, this is, I don't mean this in the wrong way, Ellen, but how did you think you were going to get this up? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, I don't know, John, I never thought of that. It's a mural we can all step into. You can actually give him a high five, right? <laughs> In some ways, it's the story of us, and perhaps a lesson in what a little crazy can achieve. If people tell you your idea is crazy, don't listen to them. You gotta go for it. You have to water it down a bit. You do that so you don't cross contaminate. Okay, good, so there's not too many streaks. Making a splash on Moody Street in Waltham, window painter Keith Henderson. I didn't even know you could do this for money. <laughs> Henderson picked up a love for the craft several years ago while living in California, a state where this world of window wonder is quite popular. Some of this is really quality stuff, but it's temporary, and that's something cool about that, that you just goes up and it comes right down. But a lot of effort was put into it, and a lot of love and labor, you know, in the labor. Is that enough shorts? I think so. Okay. <laughs> it's my little pig. <laughs> it's a big pig. <laughs> There are some hazards to this outside job. Straight lines are hard, especially when you're like kind of dodging foot, like foot traffic. But the endless audience. Yeah, people get a lot of joy out of seeing just a little bit of like extra flair. Makes for an easy sell. It turns out when you do this, people go, oh, can you do that for my place? And so it kind of like sells itself a little bit. His wave of the brush seems to take on a life of its own. I have a cartoony touch. I can't help it. Um, <laughs> I try not to. Like, uh, there's this owl over here that I tried to go for real detail, and it came out cartoony anyways. Couldn't help it. Um. <laughs> Henderson's painting technique doesn't just create fun, it creates depth on this see-through surface, giving window shopping a whole new look. People come up on the street and they go, oh, you know, thank you so much. And I'm like, well, someone invited me to do this, but yeah, thank you. And um, they're like, it just makes everyone, you know, just kind of brightens up the day. Good stuff. Yes. And back to the American Mural Project in Connecticut. It opened in June to the public, and it's open for visitors now Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays year-round. And students from Monument Mountain Regional High School in Great Barrington, Massachusetts, actually helped glaze the tiles that are on that mural. So good work to them. Yeah.